I will be coming back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me. Hello, it's Leon here from Games Radar, and I am joined by David Meekleham, who's a news editor on Official PlayStation Magazine. Hello. And, uh, well, we're talking about Kojima and Silent Hills, and it's not looking good, basically. Continuing Konami's theme of removing Kojima from everything, they have now taken his name off of Silent Hills. It's gone from the website. There used to be a Konami and a Kojima Productions logo in the bottom left-hand corner. That's now gone. I'm not sure exactly when. I had a look on uh, the Wayback Machine, the Internet Archive, and it was there up until March 19th. That was the last snapshot that was taken, which was after all the trouble kicked off for Metal Gear Solids. Solids, plural. Solids. Well, well, no. this is the thing. They took. It was noticed that Kojima's name was taken off of the Phantom Pain. Yes. But when you actually go and look on the Konami site, his name's also been taken off of Ground Zeroes. It's been taken off of... Um, the HD collection of all the previous games. It's been taken off of Zone of the Enders and now Silent Hill. So there was a bit of speculation that maybe this was some kind of weird meta um, joke that would be sort of revealed as a surprise for uh, Metal Gear because he loves playing with memes and all that sort of stuff. He does like fourth wall breaking. Yeah, but but the fact that they're taking off of everything is not looking good. And Silent Hills, the main thing that got anyone interested in it was Kojima's involvement. And obviously... Del Toro. Guillermo Del Toro. Yes. That, that's um, a decent enough crowd. Him and Kojima together were an interesting kind of combination, and Kojima sort of invigorated people's interest. PT. Well, I didn't see Del, Del Toro sing up till 3 a.m. in the morning working in codes for the new Silent Hill, so <laughs> I think that game might be in a little bit of trouble. And of course, Konami have since come out and said there will be a new Metal Gear game, mm. but Metal Gear without Hideo Kojima at the helm is almost. This is, yeah, this is the, um, the fascinating kind of statement. Um, so they issued a statement where Kojima said, I want to reassure fans that I'm 100% involved and will continue working on Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. I'm determined to make it the greatest game I've directed to date. Don't miss it. The statement then continues. In addition, Konami will continue to develop and distribute top quality content in the Metal Gear series following Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. We greatly anticipate and deeply appreciate your ongoing support. As the next step in the series, Konami has already resolved to develop new Metal Gear. We will be conducting interviews for main staff to lead the development. So they essentially said, Kojima's still doing this one, but once that's out of the way, we're doing a new one. We need some people. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, the, the, the concept of continuing Metal Gear, I mean, Hijo Kojima is Metal Gear for all its flaws, for all its little esoteric details. I mean, that is just Kojima. Getting back to Silent Hill, I mean, that... that element of the switching the pads and, and the weird ideas and, and the meta stuff. I mean, meta stuff would have been ideal for Silent Hills. There was all this talk that one of the rumoured plot lines for Silent Hills was that the game had come alive and was unhappy that it had been left behind <laughs> because it talks about, um, there was all this talk about you sort of, it knew it was real, did you know you were real and all this kind of idea that the, the, the story that was teased in the PT trailer, uh, the PT playable teaser, I should say, sort of indicating the game as self-aware and was coming back for revenge for being forgotten about. None of this surprised me. I mean, this is the man who made a game uh, you know, for the Game Boy that was literally powered by the sun in Bokta. I mean, yeah. it, was, it, was so, it was a solar-powered game. Yeah. So. so there you go. That may, uh, that may be now true with uh, Silent Hills no longer bearing the Kojima Pro uh, logo. We shall uh, let you know what happens with that. And uh, any questions, leave a comment and speak to you guys later. That was a pretty sweet video, right? If you want to see more, go to Games Radar's YouTube page over here. Or if you want to read, maybe up your game a little bit, go to gamesradar.com.